walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. The ratings are in for the Triple G versus Kale Brook fight, and you ain't gonna believe this shit. Triple G versus Kale Brook only did 833,000 viewers. 833K. How, how the fuck is that possible? Triple G is the biggest star in all of boxing, a future pay per view attraction. Hey, everybody knew Triple G's fight was coming up. It's supposed to be highly anticipated, right? Apparently, nobody gave a fuck in America about it. Yeah, in the UK, that's because of Eddie Hearn and Kell Brook, but not in America. Nobody gives a fuck about you. You know, and uh, Errol Spence versus Leonard Bundu did six million. Six million viewers. Uh, don't, don't try to bring up the time because Triple G versus Kell Brook came on in America on a Saturday afternoon, Errol Spence versus Leonard Bundu came on on a Sunday afternoon. A Sunday. Motherfucking fights don't even come on on Sunday. Saturday is the fight day. So what the fuck is your problem? What is you doing? Who the fuck gives a fuck about you? Really? You got to go over to the, the UK to get your biggest payday as the B-side from another promoter? And Canelo is going to give you your biggest payday as a B-side if you stop making excuses and stop ducking a fight. But you don't want to be the B-side in that fight. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to be the B-side to a welterweight. Yeah, that, you'll do that shit, huh? You know, that welterweight was beating your motherfucking ass. Yeah, you, you landed a good shot. <laughs> That's about it. I had that shit three to one. Kell Brook. You heard him in the first round. He came back and beat your ass. He closed every fucking round. You know what I'm saying? He clearly won a second. The third round, he landed more power punches than Triple G. Yes, you can go and check. 19 to 15, Kell Brook won that round too. And then Triple G started coming back in the fourth. Three to one. Then scored the fifth round TKO. Which, you know, really, they could have let that shit go on. But, you know, Kell Brook might have ended fucked up even if he would have won. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you can't really argue with the stoppage, but at the same time, you was getting your ass with by a motherfucking well and now. You the most wanted man in boxing. <laughs> Them goons is out for you. They coming for your motherfucking head. And I can't wait to see one of these motherfuckers bust your motherfucking head. Because they, they gonna bust your motherfucking head. Sooner, you make that Canelo fight, he gonna bust your head. Danny Jacobs might bust your head if you don't bust his head first. Chris Eubank Jr. is definitely going to bust your head. You thought Kell Brook was tough? You know what the fuck Chris Eubank Jr. would do to Kell Brook? Make that fight right now. Eddie Hearn promotes both of them. And let's see. Let's see what the fuck happens. <laughs> you, you was letting Kell Brook do that shit to you, man. Fuck out of here, man. 833K. And then you doing 97K on pay-per-view. And um, Errol Spence doing 6 million. You know what I'm saying? I guess motherfuckers would rather see an up-and-coming prospect turn contender fight instead of seeing a motherfucking dominant middleweight champion cherry pick in a welterweight. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just looking at the numbers. All I see is 833K, and then I see 6 million. So shit. Hey, <laughs> the jury was out on that one. Motherfuckers didn't even bother to to watch your fight, bro. For, for What the fuck, man? It wasn't on HBO pay-per-view. They still didn't watch it. <sighs> Can't fucking even get a million viewers, man. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Andre Ward did like, what? Only like about 80,000 less than that fighting a bum of a very serious cherry pick. I mean, a cherry pick that was bigger than yours. But hey, at least he still got decent numbers. I mean, he got comparable numbers to your shit. Y'all two motherfuckers did pretty much the same shit. You and Andre Ward. But you was fighting a tougher opponent. Nobody still didn't watch your shit. Cherry picking ass bum fighter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can you can go over there to the UK. You can sell some shit under Eddie Hearn's banner. Yeah, you could do that. And I bet you he didn't get that whole five million. Don't don't be fooled. Yeah. 
Triple T, Triple G's team got five million. That was that was uh, K 2s money. That's that's not just Triple G's money. That was the money that Eddie Hearn was paying to K two. You don't know what Tom Lurford was paying Triple G. He might have gave Triple G three. Tom kept two, or my, Tom might have kept three. Because he only been paying Triple G $2 million for these fights, even though he's selling out these venues. $2 million. That's it. That's all you're getting. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. 833K. 97K. That fucking uppercut, Kel Brook landed, was beautiful. Man, he really fucked you up, didn't he? He was rocking you, bro. Like, I just watched that shit again. Like, yo, your face, your eyes all bruised. Your nose was bloody as shit. <laughs> you was worried. You was getting your ass whipped, man, by that Walter Wade. That Walter Wade was beating the fuck out of that boy. I'm sitting there watching this shit. Like, damn. Oh, shit. Look at Kel Brook. Oh, shit. He beat that boy ass. Then come to find out, only 833,000 motherfuckers even bothered to tune into your shit on regular HBO. Yo, you need to go holler at PBC because Mr. NBC, Errol Spence, he know a little bit of something about getting millions of viewers. It ain't just Errol Spence. Fucking Thurman and Keith, uh, Keith Thurman and Sean Porter did 3 million viewers for their fight. 3 million. That's half of what Errol Spence did. But still, Danny Garcia, Robert Guerrero did at least 2 million. Thurman and, and Guerrero did like Maybe four million, because I think that was like PBC's debut or some shit like that. But it was at least two million. You know what I'm saying? I'm really going down because I think it was four. But I could be wrong. But it was millions. Damn, if you hit a million, you barely hitting that shit, but you ain't getting no multi-million amount of viewers. Fuck no. Cause they don't give a fuck about you over here. You need to just get the fuck out of our country. You know what I'm saying? You need to go and make fights with Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? Go tell Tom Loeffler to negotiate with Eddie Hearn, uh, Frank Hennessy, whatever his name is, and all of those other promoters in the UK. And get the fuck on up out of here. You want to cherry pick, motherfuckers? You see, I mean, Kell Brook was a cherry pick. I know. You would have rather fight Kell Brook than Chris Eubank Jr., now wouldn't you? Be, be honest. You know, Kell Brook was the easier fight. He's promoted by the same promoter. And then you was like, hey, Kell Brook is available. Can we make that fight? You think that fight is sell? Hey, yeah, yeah, let's fight Kell Brook. Kell Brook is a welterweight. He doesn't have anything to lose. He's going to be going up two divisions and uh, the, the Canelo Khan fight sold. So this fight will sell. This fight will definitely sell. And then it was an easy, I mean, not an easy, it was supposed to be an easy fight. You cherry pick too many welterweights, you might just get beat by a fucking welterweight. You saw what Kell Brook was doing and... Most of us feel like Kell Brook went up there to fight you to avoid Errol Spence. So, you know, why don't you fight Errol Spence? Fight Keith Thurman. Fuck it. You want to fight welterweights? Let's see how you fucking do against all of these welterweights. Because one of these welterweights is going to beat your ass. Kell Brook has fought bums his entire professional career besides one fighter. He doesn't really have the experience of fighting elite fighters because all he does is fight bums just like you. Right? That's what you like to do. But you fought the welterweight bum fighter. You the middleweight bum fighter. The middleweight bum fighter ain't supposed to be getting his ass whooped by a motherfucking welterweight. But you was. And nobody didn't even bother to tune in. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a cool fucking with you.